putting supply and demand together is going to be what tells us what did this changing factor actually do to our equilibrium price and our equilibrium quantity. Whenever we shift one of our curves, either supply or demand, we create a new equilibrium. We're going to use a four-step process to analyze whatever factor changes our market and we're going to figure out what exactly it does. The first thing we need to do is find out what's our market and what did the supply and demand curves look like to begin with. We're looking at the market for a delicious yummy steak. Now there's something that happens that's going to affect either supply or demand. Let's say the average income rises. If average income increases, what is being affected? Supply or demand? That's right, demand is being affected. Changes in income is one of the factors that shifts demand. Now we have to decide, does the curve being affected, that would be demand, shift to the left to decrease or to the right and increase? Well, steak can be considered a normal good. As our income increases, we want to purchase more steak. Therefore, demand is going to increase. Now our last step is we need to compare the original equilibrium price and quantity to our new ones. What do we see has happened to the equilibrium price and quantity? Well, they've both increased. Price has gone up, the price of a stake will go up, and the quantity of a stake actually being sold will also go up. That's because people have more income, they're willing to spend more on stakes, that's because people have more income. At any given price, they're willing to purchase more stakes. If supply stays the same, that means people are going to end up bidding up the price of stakes until we hit our new equilibrium. When we start using our four-step process, it's important to remember the concept of ceteris paribus. We're only going to look at one changing variable at a time, because if we look at more than one, the results of each will not be clear. If we break it down and do it one at a time, we'll actually be able to see what is happening in this market. Now movement between these two equilibrium are not immediate. In fact, it's going to take time. At first, we're going to start off, the quantity demanded is going to be much greater than the quantity supplied. We're going to have a shortage. Once people and firms realize that, the price is going to be bid up and it's going to keep going up until everybody who wants a stake at that price gets one. In our next video, we'll take a look at what happens when shortages and surpluses are not naturally occurring, but are manufactured by law.